in the previous video we have added a separate module file in the angular application and we have written all our routes in that one single file but let's assume that we have a huge application that is having multiple modules and loads of components then maintaining all the routes in one single file is not recommended and it is not a best practice why because if you will write loads of routes in one single file then it will be a huge file and maintaining that file will not be an easy task now in this video we will understand how can we create multiple child route module in this application let's open the source code and let's understand the problem with one single file and let's maintain all of them in multiple files this is the code that we are using in this application let's open it in the vs code editor just right click at any place and use this open with code and here we have this entire code over here you can notice that inside this app folder we are having this app routing module and in this routing module we have defined all our paths but as of now we are only using this auth module and we have defined only two routes over here just assume that we are having 10 or 20 modules in this application and we are defining all the paths at this one single place so maintaining this file will not be an easy task and because we are doing everything in the eager loading so this will also create some problems in the future now let's understand how to split this particular file and create separate child routes file in this application okay so let's assume that i do not want to use this code over here and i want to use it in the auth module so inside this auth module i have to create one more routing module and for that let's use the cli command and i'm going to use this terminal use this new terminal and over here let's create one new routing module so we can write ng g m and this time i have to create this module inside this auth so here i'm writing auth let's give the name so it is auth routing and i do not want to create a parent folder for this particular module so here i'm writing flat also i have to provide it reference in the auth module so here i'm using the module is equals to auth just hit the enter button so over here you can notice that we got one more file that is authrouting.module.ts and this is again a very simple plain module let's go to this auth module and here you can notice that in the imports we are using this auth routing module okay let's close this auth module and open this auth routing module so basically we are going to define all the child routes that are associated only with this auth module in this auth routing file okay so let's open this app routing file as well over here you can notice that inside this ng module decorator we are using this router module let's copy this entire part and over here let's remove all these things and just paste it over here now remove this common module like this then import this router module there we go now we have to define these routes over here and inside this route file let's remove both these routes so we are now only using the route that is associated with this auth let's resolve all the imports quick fix this one then these components as well just save the changes let's go back to the app routing module and let's remove all the routes that are associated with the auth module from this app routing module file okay and similarly we can also remove all these imports because we are not using them over here just save the changes now here is the important point at this place you can see that we are using one method that is for root method let's see what is available in this for root method here you can notice that this is an static method and we have to define all the routes in this for root method now what is the use of this for root it means we are telling the angular application that we want to use the routing in this application and just create one single instance throughout this application over here that is the main purpose of this for root method but if you notice that we have also used this method over here in this auth routing here also it means now we are telling the angular application just create separate routing instances in this application and that will not work that will create the problem so over here because these are the child routes so instead of using this for root we have to use for child this method remember there will always be one single for root method in the application 
and we can use multiple four child methods in the application now what is the meaning of this four child method let's see what we have over here this is again an static method and if we are using this four child method it means we are telling the application that there are some child routes and when you configure the routing please consider all the child routes as well let's go to the app module file and you can notice that we are already using this auth module over here now without doing anything else let's run this application by using the ng serve command so we are at the home page and we are having only this header and footer now if i navigate to about us this about us is working fine let's put everything side by side so there we go remove this part as well and open this app routing let's use this how it works also just paste it and you can see that this one is also working now let's talk about the child routes here again i have to use auth and then the login you can see that login is also working fine then the sign up and the sign up is also working fine now you can see over here that we have divided a routing file in multiple files let's do the same thing for other module as well while creating the module in the application you can also generate the routing file automatically so for example here let's remove this user module and i will create this module in just a bit right click on this one and choose this delete now let's create a new user module with the routing so for that again i have to use the terminal and over here let's use one more command like this okay let's write the command that is ng g m m for module so here i'm writing the user and now i'm telling routing please create a routing module as well and at this point i have to provide the parent module also app just hit the enter button you can notice that inside the app we have this new folder that is the user and in this user folder this time we have two files this is the user module that is very common but we have one more file that is user routing module and in this user routing module you can notice that we have the entire setup automatically if we navigate to this app module then you can see this user module is already imported automatically only by using this command from the cli so whenever you have to create a new module just use this type of command ng gm the name of your module or basically the path then use this routing and then provide the parent module and all the setup will be done automatically okay now let's generate few components in this user module and let's learn how the routing works so here i'm writing ng g c user components and here i'm writing add book just hit the enter button you can notice that in the user we have one more folder that is the components and in this components we have one more folder that is the add book and here we have all these files let's generate one more component file and this time here i'm writing delete book so again you can see that we are having two components and it is working fine now we have to define the route in the user routing module and we can define all the routes inside this particular array so how can we do that just go to the auth file just take the reference from this place and at this place you can see that we are using this auth component and this auth component is basically available at this root level and we have defined the router outlet in this particular component like this so in the same manner we have to generate one more component for the users so i can write ng g c now you can see that inside this users folder we got four files about this user component okay now let's go to this user routing and over here we have to provide all the routes so first i have to provide the path so this path is basically the prefix for this particular route so here i'm writing user and then the component the component in this situation will be this user component like this and then we have to define few children over here and again by using these curly braces we have to define our path so here i'm writing path what is the path so let's say it is add book then the name of the component that is 
add book component just copy this entire line and paste it again because we have to define the path for the second route and this time i'm writing delete book so here i'm writing delete book component save the changes right click and just choose this format document the only pending task is use the router outlet so let's open this user component and over here we have to use the router outlet save the changes go back to the browser and over here you can see that the application is working fine in the browser okay let's use the new path that we have defined in the routing file so this time i'm using user then add book hit the enter button and you can see we are getting the message from this add book component let's open what we have in this add book so you can see in the html we are only having this add book works let's update this message hello save the changes and this time you can see we are having this hello if i use the delete then you can see everything is working fine